Hi, I'm Sheila Blumberg. Some of you may know me as Shy Love, and I'm sitting here in sunny Los Angeles. Um, I've been getting a lot of attention from the blogs that I've been videotaping as well as writing, and quite a few emails have come in to moneylovesuccess.com, as well as at my Twitter at Shy Love or my Facebook um, Shy Love as well. So today. I'm going to discuss one of the letters that I received from one of my viewers who asked me a very simple question and I realized that there's a probably a lot of guys in the same situation so I decided to post a question with my answer. Um, I'm not going to mention the person's name so I'm just going to read what he wrote. Um, he put out, being a college student I got a lot of parties however once I'm there I wind up walking around saying hi to people I recognize getting drunk and not really doing much else. The only time I approach girls is if I recognize them from class or something, but that usually doesn't happen. I realize these parties are prime opportunities to get girls, but I'm not really sure um, how or what to do. Do you have any tips for me? So I guess there's a lot of college students basically going to a ton of parties and having issues picking up girls and they don't know what to do. So here's my advice to you college boys. Picking up college girls are way easier than picking up girls in a local restaurant, bar, um, all different types of places. College girls are easier to get because they want to study, they want to have fun, and they want to find themselves. So the social status that most women are looking for as they get older and they get out of college, um, are not a, they haven't affected those college girls yet. They're not looking for the entrepreneur, the wealthy guy the guy that they're going to marry. They're looking for the guy that's going to make them feel alive, that's going to give them a life full of adventure. People are drawn to people who are in groups, especially girls, because group pe people in groups are less likely to be crazy and put them at risk. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to say to you. Second thing is, I think it's important that you join social networks and go to parties at least three times a week. Um, you, that way you'll start meeting new people and becoming friends with them. And I'm not saying stay away from your studies or anything else, but um, what I'm saying is when you become sociable, it makes it easier for you to be comfortable in the environment. Um, don't be uncomfortable with approaching everyone, even if you don't know him or her. Remember, if you're at these events, you're already familiar with the people at these events, so you should already know what to talk to them about. I mean, if you're, you're already attending the same college, you're in the same social networks, may it be student bodies or any school clubs or sports or fraternities. Um, and that's more than enough to begin a conversation with anyone. Remember that when you're going to these parties, not only to speak to women, but become friends with a lot of men as well. Women like men who are popular. If these girls see you at these parties and everyone is speaking to you, She's going to wonder who you are and start asking questions to everybody, and she's going to want to meet you. So the more that she feels that people are comfortable and want to be around you, the more she's going to be comfortable and want to be around you. So I'm going to give you some step-by-step -step guides to getting your college girl. Step one, become well-connected. Step two, become well-connected at parties. Step three, become the guy everybody knows. You don't have to be good looking, um, you just need to be a social butterfly that everybody wants to party with. And that's the thing, a lot of the guys believe that if you're not this beautiful, hunky, gorgeous guy, that you're not going to get the attention from these women and you're completely wrong. Women in college, yeah, they go for looks, but they're looking for something a little bit more. Sometimes we experiment and want to try the little dorky guy out and you guys are thinking that we're never going to give you attention and trust me. We're paying attention to every guy that everybody seems to have fun with because we're going to assume that if everybody wants to have fun with him, we will have a great time with him. So your question is, okay, now I need to become connected around this, you know, around college. I need to be connected at parties. I need to become a social butterfly. How do I become connected? Um, I'm going to give it to you step by step. Step one, I say join social networks. It helps create a wide range of friends. Um, join social clubs, um, whether it be a group for doing news, so a newspaper, or if it's regarding a chess club. It doesn't matter. Just get connected 
with a variety of different networks within your own school. Um, second step is to start going to various college parties um, every night or at least three nights a week. And when I'm telling you this, please, I'm not telling you not to study. Studying is very important, but you don't have to be at these parties all night long. You just need to be there just to get attention, meet, greet, have fun with a few people, become the social butterfly everybody wants to talk to, and then disappear a little bit later. Um, so I'm gonna, and the reason why you want to do that is because if you're at these social parties, you're going to start building up a ton of friends, both male and females. Uh, step three, flirt with as many girls as you want in one night. Guess what? If you flirt with 20 women, there's a chance that one to five of them will sit there and totally fall for you, get caught up into the moment, and trust me, one will end up going home with you. But don't forget, don't turn into a jerk. You might find that women are not that attractive and you don't really want them in a flirtatious mode, but you might not want to talk to them and that's where you're making the mistake. You should talk to all of the girls because you should become friends with them because as long as you're so, you're sociable and you're around a ton of women and men, that's going to attract other people to want to be around you. Uh, next thing is if you think that there's a potential for friendship with a girl, don't flirt with her. Keep it as a friend because it's always nice to have a group of female friends that can help you out in the long run. And they might end up becoming your wing woman. And trust me, women wing girls are the best. I was a wing girl for quite a few of my friends and they always ended up going home with someone or dating someone. So that's very, very important. Um, step four, um, I would tell you start your own parties um, that everyone wants to go to. Now, listen, when you first start these little parties, you might have five, 10 people, you might get bored, um, you, it might not be as consuming as you want it to be, but trust me, if you make it a good place where people can hang out, drink free beer, have a good time, the next party, they're like, oh, we went to this guy's house and it was absolutely great, we had a good time, it was free beer, we chilled, we played games, and what happens is week after week after week, that these parties are happening, you become the it party. So it goes from five to 10 people within a couple of months, it can be up to a hundred people. And then if you're a little bit business oriented, the best part of it is, is once you get to the capacity of a hundred people, you can start charging people at the door to come to your party because you're going to get a ton of people that you don't know that you didn't invite that want to be there. So it can be a lucrative business as well. So if you're connected into the social society in college, it'll only be a matter of time where every college girl's going to want you. It doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter how good looking you are. It really does matter how people view you. And what's funny is if you go and you see those old school movies like, um, like the college movies, and there's always that one kid that everybody loves, and he's not even doing anything in particular great in college, but he's partying and he's the life of the party. You know, everybody wants to be around him. You need to figure out how to still keep your studies and still become the life of the party so that at one point you're pretty much invited or told about everything. And if you're at these events, trust me, girls drinking, wanting to have fun, wanting to experiment, it's only going to be a matter of time where you're going to get as many girls as you want. And the worst part of it is you might end up with five, six girls at one time that you're dating and not know what to do with them all at once. But then you wouldn't need me at that point. So let me know how it goes and tell me how your college ventures went. And you can tell me that at, at Shy Love, which is my Twitter. My Instagram is the Shy Love and my Facebook page, which is Shy Love. Or you can directly email me at info at moneylovesuccess.com. But do me a favor, check out moneylovesuccess.com. Look out the blogs, look at the products that I have. Maybe you'll hire me as a consultant later on. Have a nice day.